original recording. <laughs> Look through a telescope and go, wow. Because there's always something new under the sun on CBS Sunday Morning. Hey there everyone, I'm Errol Barnett, joining you from my home office here in Manhattan. Thank you for joining us. President Trump held the first White House Coronavirus Task Force briefing since April on Tuesday, and he warned the pandemic will get worse in the U.S. before it gets better. Meanwhile, administration officials and members of Congress are working on another relief bill to tackle the health and economic impacts. Skylar Henry is at the White House with more on this. President Trump returned to the podium much. for regular coronavirus task force briefings as his poll numbers drop and new COVID cases in the U.S. rise. Many countries are suffering very, very, very badly. We've done much better than most. The presumptive Democratic nominee, Joe Biden, disagrees, saying the president's pandemic response is negligent. He's quit on you and he's quit on this country. On Capitol Hill, Trump administration officials and lawmakers continue negotiations on a phase four relief bill that's estimated to cost at least a trillion dollars. So far, Republicans are split. I'm alarmed that we're talking about spending another trillion dollars we don't have. Right now, the Republicans are playing a dangerous game of chicken with pandemic relief. Republicans say they want funding for reopening schools to be the centerpiece for the next coronavirus bill. The U.S. Surgeon General says precautions taken outside of schools will be a huge factor in the timetable for children to return to the classroom. The biggest determinant of whether or not we can go back to school actually has little to nothing to do with the actual schools. It's your background transmission rate. Folks need to wear face coverings. Folks need to practice social distancing. Monday, President Trump tweeted a picture of himself wearing a face mask, calling it patriotic after only wearing one once publicly. He's tested more than anyone multiple times a day, um, and we believe that he's acting appropriately. Administration officials say a deal on the next stimulus bill could come by the end of the month. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. All right, and Skylar Henry joins us now from the White House to talk about this. Skylar, the president's been downplaying the resurgence of coronavirus cases across the country. So why bring back these daily briefings now? Well, Errol, good evening to you. I think in large part, if you listen to a lot of campaign experts out there, they will simply say that the president is trying to win re-election here. I mean, the president, as you mentioned, hasn't been uh, in one of these briefings, so to speak, for the last three months or so. And so now the president has an opportunity to, one, have a platform to address the country on this uh, pandemic and this issue, and he also has an opportunity to uh, share some of that rhetoric that he would have otherwise have shared on, say, a campaign rally somewhere across the country. Now, the president uh, hasn't had an opportunity to do those things because of the pandemic, and so these are opportunities that I think he and his team are going to look towards uh, to get that message out uh, to show that he is properly addressing uh, the coronavirus, something that he believes he has done appropriately up until this point. Point now, uh, but he did say that we are going to start seeing these briefings more often, not necessarily daily, like how we saw uh, when this uh, pandemic first started back in March and April. But he did say that these were something that we we're going to start to see more of uh, moving into the future. He did say that they won't just be on the coronavirus, mind you. He did say that he was going to talk about the economy as well. And I think it's interesting that he is uh, going to uh, start to do these more often here when you start to look at some of the recent polling data at least from our CBS News Battleground Tracker poll, it shows that a lot of these states that are seeing uh, an increase in coronavirus numbers, they are starting uh, to have more support for the president's uh, rival, the presumptive Democratic nominee, for former Vice President Joe Biden. Uh, those numbers are starting to go up, particularly in Texas and Arizona, states that are primarily red when it comes to presidential elections. We're starting to see that they are dead even right now at about 45 or 46 percent or so when it comes to who those voters in those states will likely vote for in November. So now you see the president taking this opportunity to address the coronavirus 
in the entire country, but particularly in those states as well. It's also, I should also uh, point out that the president was much more measured than he has been in uh, recent weeks when he, in terms of his statements today. He had a completely different tone. A lot of the rhetoric that he used today was something that we did not hear from him uh, for the past few weeks when it comes down to things like wearing masks. He said that he wants everyone to wear a mask, and he used to use the quote. He said that he, wear one whether you like it or not because they have an impact, and he, we need right now everything that we can get, Errol. As